Hello everyone, this is Robert again, coming at you with another video. Today's video, I will be trying to make a bundle bow, which, is, which consists of three or four or even five small pinky to thumb size saplings, all tied together, at, cut them in different lengths and tie them all together. So I can try to make a decent bow to go emergency hunting with. So let's go try to find some trees, some saplings to cut down. Now I have at least three of them right here. There's this one, which is pretty much dead, and these two smaller ones too. I'll cut these up, I'll cut these down, I'll probably look for one or two more. Okay, I have my five sticks cut down to all different lengths. This one's the longest. These two are the same size. They're the middle size. And these two are the smaller sizes. Now I'll take all five of these and tie them all up with the paracord I have. I'm gonna try to tie the paracord so I don't have to cut all the paracord up and ruin the whole line of paracord. Hopefully I can do this all in one piece. Now I'm gonna tie these three pieces first to get these tied up. Then I'm gonna tie up these two smaller ones. I decided to try using the sisal twine because I have so much of it. I'm going to tie this up, wrap it around a bunch of times. I had to switch to my bomber hat and my balaclava because it's cold and windy out today. It got very cold and very windy. So, I'm not wearing my video hat. This is going to be my new video hat when I'm doing these videos in the winter. Keep my head warm, keep my neck warm. finish wrapping all this up wrap this over here down at this end and in the middle and then I'll show you how it came out and here is the finished bow I have it all strung up, tied here, in the middle, and here for the big piece and the two medium sized pieces. 
Then I have these two right here for the smaller pieces. Now it took me quite a, a little bit to fight to get this string onto this part. I mean, I really had to stand on this to bend this. Now this has a lot of tension on it. I'm pretty sure this is, I don't know, it's like. I would say, probably at least 50 pounds, maybe 55, I'm not too sure, but. I can tell just by the when I pull the string this had a lot more draw draw weight than my 45 pound recurve bow. Yeah. Well, this is my first time ever making a bundle bow. And I think it came out pretty good. A lot of spring to it. Now the reason why I decided to use this sisal twine to tie the sticks is because just in case, <coughs> just in case I'm gonna leave it in the woods or I had those scrap pieces around this is natural material. It'll disintegrate just like the leaves and other sticks. So it's not really that bad for the, the environment. Yeah, this has a lot of tension on it. Well, Next, next time, I'm gonna look around these woods. I see some pretty straight um, saplings and twigs and stuff that I could use for arrows. And that will be, will be my, ne my next project for completing this bundle bow. So stay tuned for that. Well, this was very good practice for my first time making a bundle bow. Getting the correct stick, the, the correct um, saplings and everything, and to tie them all up, pretty good practice. So, you should get out there and practice making a bundle bow. Make sure you have a whole lot of st string or twine, or strong twine or rope, so you can, so you don't have to make your own in the woods. Go out there, practice making a bundle bow, practice making arrows in the woods, practice fire making, shelter building, and all other forms of bushcraft, because practice is the key to survival. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of my bundle bow, and I'll see you on my next video. This is Robert. Thank you for watching.